Rebecca Posner. I am a theater artist here in Philadelphia, and I am also a teaching artist, meaning that I teach drama to ages 5 to 11 in Philadelphia in, around the city. Um, every class I teach, I always start class with a series of yoga poses that I've been calling affirmation yoga poses. So these are a series of poses, just five poses, that simple, very simple poses that we do to help us stay grounded and find our confidence, remind us um, of all the great qualities we have. And when we have great qualities and we feel confident, we remind ourselves of our qualities and we feel confident and grounded, then we are able to better handle unpleasant things. like. For example, maybe the quarantine we're in right now. So, so I've been doing these yoga poses quite a bit, actually. And I'm hoping that these will be helpful for you and your family. Um, so let's get to it. Now I'm going to introduce the silly gooses that are have joined me for this class. Their names are Dora and Charlotte. And I'm going to go ahead and have them introduce themselves. Okay. So, Charlotte, can you tell us where you're from and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Charlotte. I live in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, and I love acting. Awesome. So glad to hear that. And how old are you, Charlotte? I'm seven years old. Awesome. Hey, Dora. If you're not too busy over there, would you mind introducing yourself? Yes. My name is Dora. I'm seven years old. I live in California. I was born in California, and I like yoga. Yoga, nice. And who's that in the background there, in the crate? My dog. <laughs> What's your dog's name? Chickpea. Aw, Chickpea looks really happy in his little crate. That's so nice. Okay, shall we get to it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So. 100% yes. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so first, I'm going to ask, how are you guys doing? How, are you, have, how have you been feeling lately in this quarantine time? I've been also okay. Okay. I've, I've been feeling good, but sometimes a little scared. Oh, yeah? And what do you do, Charlotte, to help you help yourself when you're feeling scared? I take deep breaths, and in my mind, I just think of happy thoughts. Oh, that's a good way to handle it. Dora, do you ever get nervous or scared? Yes. <laughs> and what do you do when you get nervous or scared? I count down from 10. Oh, that's a good way too. So we, so we can, when we get nervous or scared, we can do things like taking deep breaths, counting down from 10, and we can also do these yoga poses that I have um, to help us manage our stress. So let's start with the first one. We're gonna start with the strong pose, and the strong pose is also known as warrior two. So, Meet me on the mat or rug or carpet, whatever you have. You don't need anything special for these, so don't worry about it. All right, here we go. First, we're gonna stand at the edge of our mat, just stand normal in what we call mountain pose, which is just standing up straight. Then we are going to place our feet wide apart, like in a V, in an upside down V. Then we are going to, to turn our, one of our feet outwards. So I'm going to turn my right foot, I'm gonna take my toes and point them out to the right. And then I'm going to bend that, whatever leg that is out, that you've turned, I'm going to bend that knee. And then I'm going to lift my arms up by my sides. Looks good, guys. So I'm going to gaze past my fingertips and I'm going to take a deep breath in through my nose and out through my mouth, in through my nose, out through my mouth, and
And then on the count of three, I'm going to say, I am strong, in my strongest, strongest voice. Please join me. One, two, three. I am strong. Very good. Awesome. All right, meet me back at the camera. How did that feel? Good. good. Did you feel strong? Yes. yes. It's so good to remind ourselves that we are strong humans, right? Mm-hmm. All right, we ready to move on to the next pose? Yes. Yay. Okay, so for the next pose, we're going to do the kind pose, kind. We're going to remind ourselves how kind we are. So we're going to stand on the edge of our mat again in mountain pose. And we're going to bring our arms to the side so we can balance. And we're going to place our toes either at our knees, if, at our knee if we can reach it and feel comfortable there, or at our ankle with our toes on the ground. So whichever one you feel comfortable, it does not matter. Then when we're in this pose, if you can try to bring your arms, your hands to the sky, to reach towards the sky, and try to stay as straight as you can, reaching your body up, 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 like a tree. This is also called tree pose. So for a moment, I would love for you to imagine that you are a green, healthy, strong, kind tree. So we're going to breathe in through our nose, out through our mouths, in through our nose, out through our mouth. And on the count of three, we're gonna say in our kindest, kindest voice, I am kind. Ready? One, two, three. I am kind. Nice, very good. Meet me back at the camera. How did that go? Good. Good? good? Did you say I am kind? Yes. Do you feel kind? Yeah. Yes. Hey, why do you think they use the tree pose to, for, uh, to remind us that we're kind? Why are trees kind? Go ahead, Dora. They give us fruits sometimes. Yeah, a lot of trees give us fruit. What else do they do for us? What else are they very generous about, Charlotte? They, they give us paper, they give us oxygen, so trees, without trees, we wouldn't really be alive. This is very true. Trees are very kind to us because they give us so much and help us live. And it is important to remind ourselves that we're kind because when we're kind to others, that means that we're thinking about other people and not worrying and stressing about ourselves. So it's helpful when we're stressed out to do kind things for people because it will get, it will get our minds off of the scary stuff, stressful stuff, yucky stuff. So the more you're kind, the less stressed you'll be, stressed out you'll be. Just a little tip. All right, moving on to the next one. We're gonna do, we're gonna do brave. Mimi on the mat. Okay, once again, we're going to start in mountain pose. And I'm going to turn this way so you can see me better. So, in mountain pose, we're going to bend our knees towards our toes. Uh, make sure that your knees do not go over your toes. Just slightly forward. And your tush is going to go out. And you're going to try and keep your back straight in line with your tush. So you're giving a diagonal. And then you're going to raise your arms up like you're going skiing. So imagine that you're pushing off with your skis, with your ski poles. So here we go. We're going to push off. Push. Perfect. So this is why this is brave pose, because it's like when you're skiing and you have to be very brave. So we're going to be here. We're going to hold our arms up. And we're going to count to three and say, I am brave. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One, two, three. I am brave. Very good. 
Meet me back at the camera. Awesome. How did that go? Good. Yeah? Um, so I know you both are very brave. Is that true? Yes. Yes, I've seen you both be very brave in the past and do hard things. Like right now you're doing hard things by having to stay inside most of the time, right? Yeah, I literally just want to kick the door open and go run to my deck. Just <laughs> walk all around, go into, walk to the park by myself and just run, 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 go down the slide, run back home, <laughs> go back out. Yeah, I know it's hard. It's hard to keep ourselves from doing that. But you're being very brave and strong and kind by not going out and getting and maybe getting others sick or getting sick yourself. I'm very proud of you. All right, we're gonna move on to Friendly. So Friendly is really fun, let's meet on the mat. Okay, for Friendly Pose, we're going to get on our hands and knees in tabletop position. So put your knees on the ground. And then we are going to curl our toes under and lift ourselves up. And we're going to stretch ourselves so we feel the stretch through our shoulders and back and the backs of our legs. And we're going to breathe in for three and out for three, in for three, out for three. And on the count of three, we're going to say in our best friendly voice, I am friendly. One, two, three. I am friendly. Very good. Meet back at the camera. All right. Very good. You guys look good out there. All right. The next pose we're going to do is the wise. We're going to do the wise pose. I'm already doing it. You're already doing it? Well, you clever girl. Me too. I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting on my knees doing this because it's comfortable. Great, so you already know the pose, perfect. What does wise mean? Uh, Dora. It means smart. Smart, yeah, that's one of the, um, one of the definitions of wise or one of the parts of being wise. What else is there to being wise? It also means that like, so you should choose good choices, not bad choices. Yeah, it's making good choices, it's being smart, it's learning from our mistakes, like when we were younger and we maybe touched a hot stove or something and we burned ourselves. What did we do? Did we ever touch a hot stove again? No. No, we are being wise because we know, we learn from our mistakes. We made a good choice, we're being smart. So very good, I'm so proud of you all for knowing that definition. Um, so let's meet in wise pose, shall we? So, we're going to go on our mat or rug or whatever, and we're just going to tuck our knees under, or our legs under ourselves and sit up very straight. If this feels uncomfortable on your knees or on your legs at all, don't do it. Just get into crisscross applesauce like this. Just try to keep your back as straight as possible like a ribbon is pulling you up towards the sky from the top of your head. So I'm going to get back into wise pose. I'm going to sit with my hands on my, on my thighs and my back very straight. And I'm going to imagine that I am at the top of a very high mountain. And there's fresh air all around me and things are peaceful and I feel very, very old and wise at the top of my mountain. So I'm going to close my eyes and think about that and breathe in and out. In and out. And in my wisest, wisest voice, on the count of three, I'm going to say, I am wise. Ready? One, two, three. I am wise. 
Very good. Now we're going to do all the poses together so you feel the flow. Let's get into our first pose, which is our surfing pose, otherwise known as strong pose. Here we go. On the count of three, with each pose, I'm going to uh, count to three, and we're going to say our affirmation. All right, here we go. Breathe in. One, two, three. I am strong. Kind. One, two, three. I am kind. Very good. Brave. One, two, three. I am brave. Friendly. One, two, three. I am friendly. Finally, wise. One, two, three. I am wise. Ooh, I'm up on the top of my mountain and I feel so grounded. I'm gonna breathe in and out. In and out. And this time I'm going to breathe in fresh air and breathe out all my worries. Breathe in air and breathe out worries. Thank you very much. That was awesome, girls. Did you have fun? All right, bye girls. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye. Bye. <laughs>